breaking tonight. We could soon know who paid the firm behind that infamous anti-Trump dossier. Within the last hour, a federal judge denying the company's request to quash a congressional subpoena from the House Intelligence Committee to provide bank records as part of its investigation into Russian meddling in the 2016 election. It comes a day after the founders of Fusion GPS wrote an op-ed claiming they were the real victims in the Russian collusion case. But tonight, another one of their alleged victims is speaking out about the firm's smear and intimidation tactics. Venezuelan journalist Alec Boyd says that after he criticized one of Fusion's clients, he was labeled a pedophile, drug trafficker, extortionist, and even a homosexual spreading AIDS. Here now to tell his story, Alec Boyd. Alec, thank you for coming on tonight. So what was your experience with this firm? Well, um, Fusion was basically hired to work for a group of Venezuelan white-collar criminals called Derwick Associates. Uh, in the course of my work as an investigative journalist, I exposed rampant corruption uh, related to this Venezuelan group of people, and Fusion GPS was retained to basically block and obstruct any further criticism on the media, whether from independent bloggers or from large media uh, organizations such as the Wall Street Journal. So upon their visit in Caracas to try and, and convince the Wall Street Journal that their clients were upstanding captains of industry, uh, my flat in London was uh, bro broken into. My, the laptops that I had uh, were stolen. Uh, pictures of my children were left, uh, along with uh, threatening messages of sexual abuse. And I believe that Fusion GPS had a hand in doing all that. So what do you make now, of, and you, I'm sure you've seen this, this recent op-ed that the two co-founders uh, both wrote. <laughs> they went on the attack. Um, uh, Devin Nunes, the House Intel chair, uh, specifically naming him, accusing him of trying to tarnish our firm to punish us for highlighting Donald Trump's links to Russia. What do you make of them saying we're the victims in all of this? Um, I, I don't think anyone can tarnish them or, or their firm. Uh, they have tarnished themselves by associating themselves with the likes of Venezuelan white criminal crooks, with the like of Putin's agents, with uh, murderers effectively from Russia. If, if, if we recall uh, their work on behalf of some uh, Russian parties to have uh, to quash the Magnitsky Act in the United States, um, their work speaks for themselves. So it's it's not a matter of whether Devin Nunes or, or the media is trying to portray, put, you know, to put them out of business. It's themselves and their associations and their illegality what is putting them and will eventually, hopefully, put them out of business. So they put themselves out there. Fusion GPS is a Washington-based research firm run by former, former journalists, which many of them are. Um, this is who they say they are. Who do you say is the real Fusion GPS? Uh, they're they're con artists. Basically, they are they are aiding and abetting criminals. And you know, as the old saying, "Tell me who your friends are, and I'll tell you who you are." Uh, as far as the Venezuelan uh, uh, the Venezuelan paymasters, uh, this is a group of people that are on the run. Some of them have their offices have had have been raided recently in Venezuela. The people that facilitated the contracts to the contract to the company that contracted Fusion GPS are in jail. Others are on the run. So these are the kinds of these are the kinds of clients that Fusion GPS has sought to cultivate over the years. So I don't believe for a second that they are victims of anything. I am a victim. Uh, my family has been a victim. Bill Browder is a victim. I don't think they can say that they are a victim. That is just preposterous. And that op-ed that they published in the New York Times requesting uh, the testimonies to be published, I, I should say that the whole world will certainly benefit from knowing exactly what they say during closed doors, you know, while, while they're testifying behind closed doors. But we will also benefit from knowing exactly what they've done for clients, such as the Venezuelan group that I just mentioned, Derwick Associates, and from Russian clients that they've had. And also from, you know, if, if they could divulge, how come they were working for the Clinton campaign and Russian interests at the same time? They conveniently, they conveniently left that out of the op-ed, didn't they? 
Um, well, of course, of course. They yeah. never mentioned that. Neither them nor their apologies in the Washington Post and in some of the media. So none of these things are ventilated, you know, by this so-called, um, you know, diehard bleeding liberals. But at the end of the day, uh, they have done these things and there is a record of them doing these things and being involved in these things. So, you know, denying or, or, or skirting around the issue is not going to take, you know, it's not going to change the story. Alec Boyd, thank you for coming on and telling your story tonight. Thank you so much, Sandra.